Windhoek, the capital of Namibia. Is a modern city. limited water resources. Drinking water should not be a mirage, but a reality. This globally unique reclamation plant transforms secondary effluent into high quality drinking water by means of the latest available water technologies. We turn know-how into solutions. A sustainable supply of drinking water guarantees our children's quality of life. The city of Windhoek has gladly accepted this responsibility. A system of multiple safety barriers is used before, during and after the Goryangab water treatment process and this forms the key to our success. The first fundamental barrier is provided by the fact that industrial and domestic effluents are strictly separated. The domestic effluent is used for reclamation and extensively pre-treated prior to reaching the reclamation plant, which consists of a series of further barriers. The reclaimed high-quality drinking water that finally emerges is fed into the general water supply system. Drinking water technologies improve our quality of life by making things easier. Polluted water contains impurities that pose a health risk and therefore it needs to be treated using an advanced multi-barrier system. This process is constituted by a series of full and partial safety barriers, which finally guarantee the complete removal of all impurities. Pre-ozonation is the first of a series of barriers in the reclamation plant. It provides pre-disinfection and the partial splitting of long-chain natural organic matter. Ozone is a highly reactive gas, which is generated at the reclamation plant. Here, water is treated with ozone. The main purpose of the pre-ozonation is to break up long-chain organics into smaller parts as these are more easily removed during advanced coagulation and subsequent dissolved air flotation. Furthermore, the ozone eradicates part of the bacteria and virus content. In addition to disinfection, ozone completes microflocculation, which transforms part of the dissolved impurities into microparticles. By dosing of ferric chloride, the dissolved organic impurities are destabilized and form flocks together with the suspended solids already present in the raw water. The positively charged ferric ions adhere to suspended solids and dissolved impurities such as proteins and polysaccharides, which are thus destabilized and transformed into solid particles. The dosed ferric ions and the water react and create ferric hydroxide, which flocculates particles. Dissolved air flotation is a partial barrier against turbidity. It creates small air bubbles, which transport the flocks produced in the upstream coagulation flocculation stage onto the surface. this floating sludge is then removed. However, some suspended solids still remain in the water and need to be removed in further steps. 
Dual media filtration consists of two different filter media. The water is first filtered by coarse-grained hydroanthracite and then by fine-grained sand. Now the water is again treated with ozone in order to kill persistent residual bacteria and protozoa. Micropollutants, which include pharmaceuticals, are degraded and natural organic matter such as humic acids is cracked and subsequently removed biologically in the next barrier. Biological active carbon filtration represents another phase in the filtration process. The medium not only consists of standard carbon, but also small bacteria that are nesting in the porous surface of the carbon grains and consume the cracked humic acids in order to reduce the disinfection byproduct potential. In addition, micropollutants such as pharmaceuticals are removed by biological degradation. The water is now treated by activated carbon adsorption. Residual micropollutants are adsorbed onto the porous surface of the carbon grains. The carbon requires replacement once saturation is reached. We have finally reached the most sophisticated filtration process. Ultrafiltration is a membrane process using extremely fine pores. This advanced barrier removes the finest particles such as residual protozoa, bacteria, and viruses. After this stage, the water is very clean and free of any impurities. The polluted water has passed through a highly sophisticated multi-barrier system, which guarantees the output of top quality potable water. Moreover, for safety reasons and as a final barrier in the reclamation plant, the water is disinfected with chlorine prior to pumping into the Windhoek water distribution system. The water is also stabilized with caustic soda to prevent any erosion of the city's pipelines. In the final barrier, the reclaimed water is blended with surface water before being pumped into the distribution system. Blending with natural water and the related ratios are also important aspects of a sustainable supply of drinking water. Quality and safety are extremely important. Therefore, the water is checked throughout the process and quality parameters have to be met after every step. Here, the operator is monitoring the process via a SCADA computer in the control room. The plant is fully automated. For example, the refrigerated composite sampler collects quality samples over 24 hours. Windhoek, a city of many faces where the mental barriers to water reclamation have been challenged and successfully replaced by treatment barriers that quench the people's thirst. Moreover, Windhoek is a city where water is judged by its quality, not its history.